No end in sight for the fighting here. But in other capitals around the world, a diplomatic battle is taking place to prevent U.S. airstrikes. In Washington, a cautious welcome on the Russian proposal for Syria's chemical weapons to come under international control. It is a potentially positive development. Uh, I don't think that we would have gotten to the point where they even put something out there publicly uh, had it not been a credible uh, military threat uh, from the United States and those who support serious responses to what happened inside of Syria. In Moscow, a vague outline of Russia's view of the solution. We should have a plan very soon, and we will be ready to improve it and work out the details along with the UN Secretary General, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, and members of the UN Security Council. In Paris, the French were busy trying to get things in writing, proposing a UN resolution. Firstly, to condemn the August 21st massacre committed by the Syrian regime. Secondly, to demand that the regime fully bring to light its chemical weapons program, place it under international control and dismantle it. The British know that resolution will be difficult for the Russians to accept, and they're realistic about the Russian plan. We need to know that, uh, that there's a proper timetable for doing this. We need to know that there'll be a proper process for doing it. And crucially, there would have to be consequences if it wasn't done. So as I say, if this is a serious uh, offer, a serious proposal, we should uh, treat it accordingly. More questions. Which countries will volunteer their top scientists to enter this war zone to check on the chemical weapons? How many would it take? Probably hundreds. Would they need a protection force? And how long would they be there? So far, no answers. Tim Marshall, Sky News.